Good morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas Day 8. I find it so weird that I'm saying that when I still haven't caught up on days 5, 6, 7 yet. <laughs> I'm actually going to edit day um, 5 right now. And then day 6, because I don't think... Because these past couple days, I keep saying in these vlogs, are really short because I don't do much that... I can vlog like I don't do anything that fun. Tuesday I went to um, my last observations and then I did my paper and I went to class. That's all I did and then I came home and stayed up till 2 o'clock in the morning doing homework for yesterday, Wednesday's class and I did all of that and Wednesday I had to get up and I went to my first work orientation, came home for an hour and then had to leave and go to class. So that's pretty much what's going to happen today too. Um, but Friday, I actually have a little bit of a break, so it's nice. And I'm drinking my coffee out of my Hello Kitty snowy cup. I actually wish it would, like, snow and, like, cancel this fucking orientation now. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, everyone seems really nice. It just, like, like the last two hours yesterday, I was literally, like, rolling my eyes, like, like, really? Are you kidding me? I don't know. I was talking with a friend yesterday, and I have been talking with them for, like, over a week now. And it's very, like, up and down with them. I've obviously talked about it on YouTube before. And, um, usually, like, the way that they are and the way that they, you know, say things and personality and shit, all that stuff doesn't bother me. But last night, I don't know, after, um, we were, like, discussing something and then near the end it just really fucking irritated the hell out of me. And it affected me throughout my class. I feel like it affected my presentation. So, I'm a little angry about it. But I just really try not, but again, I'm not really trying not to let it bother me because it's just all stupid and it's pointless to get angry about because it's not. I did let them know that I was angry last night though. And I don't know, sometimes I feel like that like eggs them on and that makes them make me mad even more. I don't know. It was just a really complicated and stupid situation, honestly. And I hope that next time, if uh, it comes across, that we have a plan for that because I'm in the mood right now. But yeah, so uh, I actually ended up washing my hair yesterday morning. So it is toned. It's a lot better toned than it was. I wash my hair about once a week, even though I have this blonde, yes, to keep my toning. And uh, I really like the color that it came out. Um, I'm actually, I think after Christmas, I'm going to start taking those hair vitamins so that my hair can grow out and I can um, start to get out of this blonde because I've noticed recently that I've been toning it. It's just been more of a pain in the ass to keep up with because if I would just wash my hair normally, like it'll be brassy again. I wish I was kidding, but that's what happens. So I've also noticed that a lot of YouTubers would like are like, I don't know, like skipping over days with Vlogmas and like not really keeping up with it that well. But, you know, it's, I don't really, like, including me, so I'm not even trying to, like, throw shade at anybody. Look at my little pops. Ready? Ready? <laughs> no, no shade, because I'm also in the same boat. I also am very late in my vlogmas, and I feel like now that I have shit going on, it's just going to be really boring for you guys to watch. But I'm still going to try to do it every day, even though if I am going to have to go to work and come home, if there's anything exciting that happens, I will vlog it, and... Uh, but obviously I cannot vlog at work because it's confidentiality and I work with children and parents and I don't want, you know, I don't want to lose my job over that. So that's stuff I will not vlog, but I will always vlog like, you know, stuff I do that outside of work and stuff like that. And the weekends with David, I am actually really pumped for the weekends because I feel like it's going to be the most exciting part of my vlogmas. <laughs> How sad I know, but I mean like at this point in time. It's pretty much the truth. I'm going to edit day five right now and see about day six and seven and get those up for you guys <laughs> as soon as I can. And um, we'll see about the rest of the week. That's all I'm going to say. I know in every single one of these days, I keep telling you guys a different plan, but that's what I'm doing right now. So we'll see. And I'm going to catch up on watching all my videos on my um, on my TV while I'm editing because I did not get a chance to get caught up on anything last night and last night I was just too tired, too irritated, too annoyed and I was really, really, 
really, really, really fucking irritated with the way that things were going on with my friend. So I just didn't feel like doing anything. Um, but I'm really excited for the weekend. <laughs> I won't get to see David till Saturday night this week. No bothered by that, but whatever. What you can do is just pray that time goes fast. I feel like though, again, once I start working with the kids, like it won't be so, like these long days won't be so Hey long. guys, so this morning I am getting ready to go to orientation. <laughs> I don't know if I already vlogged. Yes, I did vlog already today. So there's probably a black box in this area just because I don't want you guys to see where I work and everything like that. But I have to say yesterday, it was so fucking cold in that damn classroom that we were in. Oh my gosh. It was like literally like 61 degrees all freaking day. I mean, it went up to 65, but it was still like really, really cold. So um, yeah, don't mind me. I'm just trying to stay in one spot. Um, today I go in at 10 instead of 9, which is nice, so I have like an extra hour to edit a vlog, and, uh, tonight I have class again, so it's just gonna be a little bit crazy, but I'm actually not really looking forward to going to class tonight, and I was actually thinking about skipping it, but since it's the last class we, well it's not, actually, next week is the last class we have on campus for for my Thursday night because basically this week we were supposed to be doing our uh, presentations on our story boxes with our lesson plans and crap like that however uh, my professor decided to move it up until next week which is nice because we have a, I have a, had a lot of stuff that was due this week I had a paper I was due in my third my Tuesday class Last night, um, I had my lesson plan due, and I had to give a presentation, and apparently, um, I want to know what my current grade is, because I wanted to go and talk to, uh, my director about, like, my degree, and, like, how do I get it, how do I apply for it, and everything like that, because I've had B's all semester. Oh, crap! So, um, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about having B's. Um, so don't mind me. I'm just gonna do my makeup and talk to you guys because I'm probably not gonna be able to really vlog today Which sucks <laughs> But I will try But basically tonight's class is just gonna be kind of like a fuck around Kinda not a fuck around, but as she's gonna say tying up loose ends is what she put on the blackboard post Shout out to uh girl in my class that also works at the center over here that I was student teaching at because like I said it's funny because three of the teachers that work at that center have been in my, one has been in each one of th each three one of my three classes this semester so it's been kind of nice and then going there for observations so I got all my observations done all that stuff's done pretty much the only things I have to do now for my classes are um course reflections in blackboard then there's going to be actually let's keep that out there's going to be a um sorry don't mind me i'm like watching britney and baby i'm trying to catch up on my subs subscriptions this morning while i'm doing stuff because i don't have time actions and discussion board on blackboard that's another thing blackboard has been literally so slow this semester that like my professors can't even put in their grades for my grades for classes because it's so slow and it doesn't work, which is really, really annoying because I would like to know if I'm going to get that freaking degree or not. And it's kind of annoying right now because I feel like, like, I feel like I'm doing well. Like I did really well this semester. Like I had B's instead of C's, which to me is a big damn deal because usually I, you know, mess it all up. And I cave, and then I panic, and then I don't do anything at all. But this time, I really want my degree. So I've been trying to maintain a little bit. So there's that. But yeah, so all I have left to do are the reflections in Blackboard. I have a quiz that's going to be due on Tuesday. So hopefully get that done uh, Monday night. Or Sunday, depending how zealous I feel. I might actually do stuff on Sunday, even though I want to relax and maybe catch up on stuff, only because I don't have time. 
at the moment to I don't think I'll have time at night well maybe I will I don't know and then um, I have an exam on Wednesday night online that's only open from like 6 to 9 on blackboard and I'm really worried that I won't be able to make that time frame so I'll have to find out my work schedule for next week because that's the only time that it's available and but my professor did say that if you need it earlier or later then just let her know so I think I may do that I may have her like open it up Sunday night or something I'll do one Sunday night do one Monday I do course reflections because it helps with our accreditation and crap with the school and I also have to do the course reflections and I have to do my last toddler language sample thing for my language and literacy class that was due like a week ago that I finally got this week but I totally forgot to hand it in because or uh, to, to actually because what you have to do is you have to take a sample of like a toddler and then you have to write like a script of what they say and you know what's going on in the sample so it's not that big of a deal but just like it's a lot when you think about it when it comes down to doing it so I'll have to do that later and I just want to say I know I'm probably annoying and repeating this in every single vlog but I'm sorry that these vlogs are short and I'm sorry that they're so late I wish that I sometimes like had the job of YouTube that way like I could just do videos all day but I don't and um, I like working with children and Yesterday's orientation wasn't actually that bad, just the last few hours I was like, can I go now? Like, can I go? Um, I mean, 9 to 4, that's a big time frame, I mean, for me. I just, I don't know if I'm working full time or part time. I think I am part time because I don't have my degrees yet and I'm just an assistant teacher. I'm not like um, a real like classroom teacher yet because I don't have my degrees, but I think as soon as I have them, I'll be able to move up but even though I'm an assistant teacher they were saying yesterday that like you should still learn how to do lesson plans you should still learn how to do everything because it'll help you especially if like the lead teachers out and you're on your own so uh, and the whole thing with like what I was worried about most is discipline disciplining kids because I think a lot of you guys watching um, maybe have kids or work with kids or you know some interaction with kids you don't put them in timeout anymore you don't ignore you don't like put a uh, like a red stoplight on the in the class and like as they get they you know do things they're not supposed to like move them up the stoplight to red so everyone can see that because that hinders their self-esteem number one and it also makes them also you know you're letting parents see that See, like, the bad child, quote-unquote, even though, like, they may not be a bad child. They may just really, you know, if they have trouble sitting in circle time, they may have trouble, you know, sitting still. And it's not their fault. And that you shouldn't, like, you know, do things to make them feel like crap about themselves, basically. So, I'm a big believer in the new system that they have. And I feel weird doing my eyebrows, but... I feel like if I don't do them, they look really gross, but when I do them, I feel like they're too much now. I don't know. Maybe it's because yesterday, I don't know, I was thinking about my eyebrows and I was sitting there and I was like, mm, my eyebrows are not on fleek today. And like, I noticed all the other girls that, uh, the other employees there, all the girls, like, they did not have their eyebrows done. A lot of them weren't into makeup like me, so I was just like, cool. I think today goes a little bit faster than yesterday because... I feel like person come and train us. There was a person that came to train us and did tell us about the curriculum and everything. And after she left around 2 o'clock and then the rest of the time we just did like the basic like some policy stuff and confidentiality stuff and you know like it just near the end it was a lot <laughs> like and I was just like can I go home now you know I feel like though once I start you know working with the kids and once we start working with them time is obviously gonna go by quicker you're gonna be a lot happier I'm gonna feel a lot happier working with them working with kids than just oh I forgot to fill in that brow that would help maybe I did fill it in I don't know you guys could tell me in the comments how stupid I am I guess oh <laughs>
Again, I used the Wet n Wild Cole Eyeliner in Simma Brown Down, right? Is that what it's called? Simma Brown Now. That's what it is at the moment. But it is getting too dark for me, so I'm probably going to um, switch to a lighter brow pencil in the next few months because this one's really intense. My brows are like on fleek on point. Holy crap. I'm actually making really good time right now. I think I got this basic makeup routine down. Like if I had to do it in 15 minutes, I could, but I'm, I'm all kind of spreading it out a little bit today just because why not? This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love this concealer. Nolan peed on the floor. That's really, really, wow. <laughs> I've never heard of that. But yeah, so today I know we're going to be trained on some other stuff in regards to keeping track of the children, observations, and stuff like that. So hopefully it's not boring. I get really, really annoyed if like shit gets too boring or it's dragged on. Or actually, it kind of depends on the person who gives the training. Because if it's someone that's like, you know, like they, it seems like they have a hard time grasping the crowd or getting people's attention, or they are really slow, then I'm just like, can we speed it along? <laughs> Of course, no offense to people that have a hard time at all. You know, no shade to anyone at all that, you know, has a hard time with that. But me personally, like, I will more than likely pay attention to you better if I'm focused and engaged, if you know how to engage your audience. I think that's kind of common knowledge, though. I'm just really, really excited for this weekend. Personally, because... David and I again are going to the holiday lights and at Lake Compounds which is a like a theme park in my state that you know has like the summer thing it's kind of like Six Flags but much smaller and they have like a water park and stuff like that in the summer well during Halloween they do a haunted graveyard but David and I were not usually able to go to that because number one like when it comes to me getting scared I hate getting scared like ah, like screaming I hate it and my heart you know, and I have such bad anxiety, so I would love to go. I think I did go to it once when I was really little, but after that, I was just really petrified of it, and I was just like, no, I don't want to go anymore. Um, and then I guess David went when he was younger, and there was a lot of strobe lights, and this was around the time where um, strobe lights were really bothering him with his seizures. So... He technically couldn't go because it was a lot of strobe lights, but I really wanted to go this year, but then I was like, okay, do I really want to get the shit scared out of me and freak out and, you know, have a panic attack? No, so I'm not going to go. I mean, I love Haunted Graveyard. <sighs> Wish I could actually go to enjoy it, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. So the one thing that we do go to during the year, they also have a thing called Holiday Lights. They started about two, three years ago, and... It's really fun, like there's like stuff for kids, decorate cookies, be with Santa, you know, go meet Santa. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, and then there's also like, like all the holiday lights throughout the park, there's hot chocolate, you can buy food. Um, like it's just like a nice thing for people to enjoy like the, uh, where the hell's my brush? It's just a nice thing for families and kids to go to. But the past, but last year when we went, like, we went the year, the first year, near the end. Like, it was, like, a half hour before they closed, and we were in and out in, like, 20 minutes, which is nice, <laughs> when we rushed. Hey, Ma. Hi. So, it wasn't even that crowded then, because it wasn't, like, you know. I don't think it was that known, and it was really late on a Sunday night, so maybe that was why. Ow, this feels like it's cutting me. But, um, last year we went, it was so crowded. I couldn't see where I was, well, I could see where I was going, but, like, Literally, whoop, I don't know why I put bronzer on my nose. I don't know why I did that. Literally everywhere, there was people. It was like a sea of people, and I hate that. <coughs> I hate, that's why I hate going to places on the weekends. I hate going to the mall. Christmas time is when I really start, my panic attacks really kick in with the mall and going Christmas shopping at the mall or, like, anywhere because there's just so many freaking people, and I'm like, Holy crap, can you not? Crazy to me. Oh, my nose is all chapped too. Because so I've been sneezing, and fun fact, I've been sneezing today, so I have a little package of tissues with me. Hope I don't die. 
My mom calls Cleo little Claro. I mean, anything else. But, um, yeah, this is also the palette. This is really random, but this is the palette that I use on a daily basis for my daily makeup. It is the L'Oreal Pro Contour, Infallible Pro Contour and Light. I love the highlight. Clearly, I've hit pan. And the bronzer is, like, perfect. It's not too much, not too little. Just gives me a little something to make me look put together, you know, since I am working now. Pointless to wear a lot of makeup to working with children, yes. But I enjoy it, and it makes me happy. And I don't, like, do freaking blue eyeshadow and stuff. No offense if you do and you work with kids. But, like, I don't doll myself up that much. Because nine times out of ten, you get really messy with art projects and if kids have, you know, spit up or whatever. But yeah, so yesterday was really cold in that freaking classroom. So today I'm wearing a cami, a long sleeve shirt under this shirt because there was a girl yesterday that actually did that, which was nice. I just totally forgot I have to put deodorant on, so there's that. But uh, yeah, so basically today is just going to be kind of boring. So I figured I maybe I'd talk to you guys while I'm getting ready about some things <laughs> this morning. And tonight's class is probably going to be totally pointless. I'm going to be so mad that I went, but hey, whatever. It happens. And then Friday, same thing as today. So, hope you guys enjoyed this part. Hopefully, I'll see you later. And, uh, wish me luck. Hi, guys. Doesn't really look like I went anywhere today besides the fact that I am all ready. And I'm so sick of the sneezing. I really am. But I just got home from orientation and I actually was running late, so I had to leave anyways. But I want to show you guys a package I got in the mail. Let's make this vlog look a little more interesting. Um, this is I've actually been waiting for this for a while now, so I'm very happy. This is the matching Pink Nation bra top and panty. So I'm really, really excited about it. I hope that this bra top is enough support for me to wear to the gym. Ooh, it's cute. It's actually It's actually really cute. So it's just black and this is pink nation on the front, like that. And my door is open by the way, so if you hear my mom, my grandpa, that's why. And then I got the panties. Which look like this, just the boy shorts ones. I don't think I'll wear these to work out in anytime soon. But actually, they look like they could be like really mini shorts. But I really like this little outfit. I thought it'd be great for um, the bra, especially. Be great to work out in. That is the first package. I'm waiting on the second package because I got the free beanie and the $45 outfit deal. I really like getting pinks like sports bra and pant deals because I feel like it's a lot better of a deal to get that than to pay like $45, $50 a piece, 100 bucks for a gym outfit, which is kind of stupid. And I really do, I really like little gym outfits and stuff now, even though I haven't been to the gym in like a really long time since like actually the day before Thanksgiving. It is December 8th. Yeah. I have to leave for class in about 40 minutes. Kitty! Don't bring her in here because I've been sneezing. I love you, Lily. I love all my kitties so much, but lately they've been making me sneeze. Oh, yeah. I didn't... <laughs> um, the other thing that I didn't get to tell you guys is you guys know my uh, red heart necklace that David got me. It broke yesterday when I was trying to put it on. And I was just like, oh, okay, this is how this is going to go. Oh, my gosh. But I'm a little bit annoyed with uh, how orientation went near the end because it was like running late and I feel like in my head it shouldn't have ran late. Everything they have for Christmas this year? So yeah, I don't know. Whatever, I'm not going to go into much detail about it because, you know, yeah. I'm realizing that my vlog from this morning did not upload because when my computer dims, it stops the upload. So hopefully that will be up and then i gotta edit a couple more and hopefully get those up too so there's also that but uh yeah just nothing really exciting i have class tonight it's probably gonna be boring as fuck and i'm not looking forward to it yeah so with that all being said <coughs> i am gonna just talk to you guys later hopefully I end the vlog because i feel like i haven't the past couple days Meh. And I'm just talking over everyone because they're too damn loud. Ah!